Year by year, our relentless pursuit of knowledge unveils the once hidden wonders of our world. And although most of them are incredible, some are puzzling, mind-boggling, and downright creepy. These discoveries not only can change history, but also change how we look at our past and present. From a mysterious hum that plagued an entire village to a rift on Earth, here are the 20 most terrifying things recently discovered. Number 20. The Home Field Hum Imagine you're just chilling in your room, maybe reading a book or trying to get some sleep, then suddenly there's this low, persistent humming sound. It's not your fridge, it's not your neighbor's AC, and this hum seems to follow you everywhere. Sounds like an incredible annoyance, right? Well, believe it or not, a village is plagued by this phenomena. Residents of Homefield in the United Kingdom have been plagued by this sound for years. Over the years, several theories have emerged, but not a single one has been verified. Some attribute it to nearby industrial activities. However, this theory was quickly dismissed as the hum lingers even during off hours and holidays. Another theory suggests it might be a natural phenomena, possibly linked to underground water currents or seismic activities. But as intriguing as that sounds, there's little evidence to back it up. And of course, some believe that the hum is produced by an unseen force, supernatural or extraterrestrial. But just like the other theories, these are nothing but conspiracies. Researchers and experts have tried time and again to pinpoint the source. Yet to this day, the mystery of the sound remains. And perhaps, the mystery surrounding it will continue to persist for years to come. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Bosnia's Energy Pyramids Over the past 15 years, Bosnia's energy pyramids have been the center of debate and controversy because of one question. Is it an artificial complex or a natural formation? The idea of the energy pyramids can be traced back to a man named Samir Osmanakic. In 2005, he claimed that these weren't just natural hills, but pyramids from an ancient civilization. Since then, he's been active, purchasing land around the area, digging tunnels, and even establishing a pyramid-themed park thousands visit annually, with some even claiming actual health benefits after their visit. Hence, many believe that the energy pyramids were for some reason miraculous and healing. Samir's claims have gained traction, especially with his numerous TV appearances. He believes these pyramids were constructed 12,000 years ago by a now-lost civilization. His foundation has received significant support and donations over the years. However, not everyone's convinced. Several scientists and archaeologists believe these are natural formations known as flat irons. Despite the skepticism, Samir remains undeterred, pointing to tunnels he's discovered as evidence of the pyramid's special energy. If anyone out there has any idea about the truth behind these formations, do share your ideas in the comments below. Number 18. The Aztec Death Whistle Among the most influential civilizations in the history of mankind are the Aztecs, renowned for their complex religion, intricate tribute system, and formidable military power. Most discoveries linked to them are of profound significance. Perhaps one of the most terrifying artifacts created by the Aztecs is their death whistles. These eerie instruments defy expectations. Their sound has been chillingly likened to the scream of a thousand corpses. It's spine-tingling, to say the least. Interestingly, when archaeologists first discovered these skull-shaped whistles around 20 years ago, they were initially dismissed as mere toys. It was only when someone took the initiative to blow into one that its haunting sound was revealed to the rest of the world. Experts claim that these whistles of death were played just before sacrificial ceremonies. Some theories suggest that the Aztecs used this whistle to guide the departed souls to the underworld, while others believe it was a psychological tool in warfare intended to intimidate enemies. Moreover, the Aztecs crafted various instruments, from turkey feathers and frog skins, each with a distinct purpose. However, the whistles of death stand out as the most death-defying. If you're curious about the sound, you might want to hear it from local artists on YouTube. But trust me, you might want to listen to it when you're with someone. Number 17. Roman Slave Rooms Earlier this year at the Civita Giuliana Villa in Pompeii, Archaeologists discovered a room that showed them a glimpse of the life of the Romans in the lower bracket of society nearly 2,000 years ago, a room used by enslaved people. The small, confined room contained two beds, but only one mattress, hinting at the challenging conditions these enslaved people endured. Aside from the beds, 
The room held two cabinets and various ceramic containers. What's more, bodies of rodents were also discovered around the premises of the slave room. This indicates just how dire the living conditions of these enslaved people were. The room, with only the barest necessities, was a considerable contrast to the lavish and luxurious beds and baths those in the upper echelon of Roman society experienced during the first century AD. These rooms merely scratch the surface of what life was like in Roman society. Number 16. Pyramid-Shaped Mountain Deep in Antarctica's Ellsworth mountain range, there's this mountain peak that looks, well, suspiciously like a pyramid, and the internet has taken notice of it recently. This alleged pyramid and hidden complex initially gained traction online in 2016. The said pyramid was about 2 km square miles at its base. With how it looks, at least in the photos, it's no surprise that people started drawing parallels with the Egyptian pyramids. Naturally, many theories began to form. Some claim it was built by an ancient civilization 10,000 years ago when Antarctica was basically a beach resort. Meanwhile, others believe that it was created by extraterrestrials. However, Experts, on the other hand, have logical but admittedly less interesting theories. Many claim that these pyramid-like shapes are pretty common in glaciated areas. They're called pyramidal peaked mountains. Now that's a tongue twister. Essentially, glaciers carve out the sides of a landmass, giving it an appearance similar to a pyramid. Now, despite all these proposals, of course many choose to believe that this pyramid isn't a natural formation, but rather something else. What do you think of this? Is this a man-made creation? An extraterrestrial contribution? Or is it just another natural formation? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 15. World's Ugliest Orchid When you think about orchids, you probably envision a beautiful flower. Orchids usually have a good smell and an equally lovely appearance. But did you know that this orchid exists? You see, this organism was discovered by scientists in the forests of Madagascar. This is known as the Gastrodia angicellis, and it's already gaining fame as the world's ugliest orchid. It's not exactly the title you'd want to have as a species. Again, orchids are usually the poster child for elegance in the plant world. With over 28,000 species, they're among the most popular flora out there. But this one is different. The new orchid lacks leaves, sporting a fuzzy stem, exhibits a modern brownish color, and primarily resides underground. It only ever appears when it's time to bloom or bear fruit. This orchid is also the world's smallest, standing at a mere 1.1 centimeters in height when in bloom. Its minuscule flowers, only a few millimeters across, challenge conventional expectations, underscoring its status as a botanical marvel within the orchid family. Now, be honest, if you had to guess what this organism is without knowing that it's an orchid, would you have even guessed it's a flower? It looks more like a fungus or a worm to me. But hey, there are still a lot of things we don't know about this orchid. Who knows? This species just might have a hidden medicinal or herbal property. As the saying goes, we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Number 14. Octopus in Man's Mouth Now a live being is definitely the last thing you'd expect to see in a person's mouth. But I guess life has a way of surprising us with its mysteries. Earlier this year, the most bizarre incident happened. Doctors discovered a live octopus in a patient's mouth. Now, how exactly did that happen? Well, the man was allegedly enjoying a delicacy, and it involves eating raw octopus. Unfortunately for him, the octopus had an insane will to live, becoming a dense mass in his esophagus. Yep, they found a whole eight-tentacled creature in his mouth, and it shocked those in the American Gastrointestinal Association, or AGA. I mean, I'd be stunned too. Initially, researchers tried to remove the octopus through a simple push technique, but unfortunately it didn't work. The octopus seemed to be pretty keen on holding on. The doctors had to get creative, maneuvering the camera past the octopus and using forceps to pull it out gently. You might wonder why someone would try to swallow a live octopus, but we don't judge their taste in food. Let's be thankful that the guy recovered after two days and didn't suffer from complications. Number 13. Mysterious Antennas Over the past year, there's been this weird phenomena where solar-powered antennas have been mysteriously appearing in the foothills of Salt Lake City. Imagine being a local and suddenly seeing antennas popping up around the region. I would be baffled and maybe a little worried. So far, there have been reports of around a dozen antennas over the past few years. According to eyewitnesses, 
The antennas were made up of a locked battery box, a solar panel, and an antenna. No one knows what they are, what their purpose is, or who exactly is leaving them behind. Now, because these devices are popping up on public land without permits, the city's been on a mission to dismantle them. You can't really leave shady stuff on public property. After all, these antennas just might have a heinous purpose. But the local authorities claim they have a rough idea of what the antennas may be for. Experts claim that these antennas might be related to cryptocurrency networks. They may be using the solar-powered antennas for crypto mining in the middle of the foothills. But this is nothing but a theory still to this day. The authorities are hoping to get more answers once they crack open those locked boxes. So far, these antennas have been found in various places, including lands managed by the Forest Service and the University of Utah, and even on some challenging trails near Twin Peaks. If these antennas are just part of a prank, surely no one would go to insane lengths just to put them in the most impossible places, right? But, well, all we can do is speculate on the motive behind these antennas. Number 12. 2,500-Year-Old Brain In 2008, archaeologists in Heslington, England discovered something that forever changed our understanding of decomposition and ancient burial practices. As they carefully excavated a site, archaeologists stumbled upon a decapitated skull. While such finds were not uncommon in archaeological digs, what was inside the skull was truly extraordinary. A remarkably well-preserved brain estimated to have been around 2,500 years old. You see, our brains are one of the first organs to decompose after death. In most archaeological contexts, soft tissues like the brain deteriorate, leaving behind only the harder skeletal remains. This made the Heslington discovery even more puzzling. How did this brain remain intact for millennia, especially in a temperate climate where decomposition was accelerated? Upon closer examination, scientists discovered that the brain's proteins had undergone a process akin to tanning, similar to how leather is made. This could have been a result of specific conditions in the soil, or perhaps unique burial rituals that had been practiced. However, the exact mechanism of this preservation remained a topic of debate among experts. The context of the findings also raised questions. The clean cut of the decapitation suggested it was executed with precision, possibly indicating a ritualistic or judicial execution. The identity and status of the individual remained shrouded in mystery. Had he been a criminal, a sacrifice, or perhaps a casualty of some ancient conflict? Number 11. Bagel Heads Now this is definitely among the most bizarre things that emerged recently. A few years ago, a unique body modification trend emerged in Japan, which quickly garnered international attention. This trend, colloquially known as bagel head, involved individuals receiving saline injections into their foreheads. Over the course of a few hours, the saline solution caused the forehead to swell. Then, the practitioner pressed down in the center of the swollen area, creating the appearance of a bagel or donut on the person's forehead. I can't completely wrap my head around why someone would do this. The origins of this trend were traced back to Canada, where body modification enthusiasts had experimented with saline injections in various parts of their bodies. It was only later that this specific forehead modification gained popularity in Japan's underground body mod scene. While it might appear perplexing to some, bagelhead enthusiasts found beauty and self-expression in this fleeting body-altering art form, showcasing how people redefine beauty and individuality. The process, while visually striking, was temporary. The body naturally absorbed the saline solution over a period of 16 to 24 hours, and the forehead returned to its normal appearance. While the procedure was generally considered safe when done by experienced practitioners, it was not without risks. Infections and other complications could arise if the procedure weren't done correctly. Regardless of your desire to fit in, you wouldn't engage in such reckless behavior, would you? Number 10. Mysterious Fires Several years ago, the quiet Sicilian village of Canetto de Coronia was thrust into the international spotlight due to a series of inexplicable events. Residents of this small village were plagued by spontaneous and unexplained fires that seemed to ignite without any discernible causes. Everyday objects, from furniture and appliances to cars and even crops, suddenly and mysteriously burst into flames. Sounds like a supernatural entity was at work, right? Well, that's what many believed initially. The phenomena began without warning and quickly escalated, 
causing panic and fear among the villagers. Local authorities were baffled, and initial investigations couldn't pinpoint any logical explanation. Electrical faults were ruled out as the fires continued even after the power supply to the village had been cut off. As the incidents grew in frequency, experts from various fields, including electricians, engineers, and even volcanologists were brought in to study the phenomena. Some speculated that the fires could be the result of unusual electrical activity or rare magnetic anomalies. Others considered more unconventional theories, ranging from UFO activities to supernatural occurrences. The Italian government took the situation seriously and relocated residents while conducting a thorough investigation. After extensive studies, some experts believed the fires might have been caused by a rare combination of electrical, magnetic, and even radioactive phenomena. However, there's still no definitive explanation to this day. Number 9. Stone Orbs Several millennia ago during the Neolithic period, an intriguing phenomena occurred across what is now known as Britain. Archaeologists are now only starting to unravel the secrets of the stone orbs that are now mysteriously scattered around the region. Years later, dedicated archaeologists and historians would uncover a trove of peculiar artifacts. Exquisitely carved stone spheres, each adorned with intricate patterns including spirals, circles, and an array of geometric designs. These stone balls, primarily found in Scotland but also in other parts of Britain, have since become one of the most puzzling remnants of Neolithic culture. Approximately the size of a tennis ball, these stone spheres were crafted with precision and care. The majority of them feature a series of knobs or projections, with some having as many as 160 knobs. The purpose and meaning behind these artifacts have remained a subject of debate and speculation for years. There are several theories, however. Some scholars believe these stone balls might have served a practical purpose, perhaps as weights or tools. Others speculate that they had a ceremonial or symbolic significance, possibly representing a form of currency, a status symbol, or even an artifact used in rituals or games. Experts have been trying to uncover the secrets and real purpose of these stone orbs, but to this day, they remain a complete mystery. However, if there's one thing we're sure of, it's the fact that the people who created and crafted these have the skill, artistry, and most of all the patience to complete such a task. Number 8. Enigmatic Machine The two world wars are among the darkest periods of mankind's history, and recently, experts discovered traces of these battles at the bottom of the Baltic Sea, a Nazi Enigma machine. Now, the Enigma machine was this super-secret device used by the Nazis during World War II to send encrypted messages. The Allies spent a ton of time and brain power trying to crack these codes. And spoiler alert, they eventually did, thanks to some brilliant minds like Alan Turing. Now back to the machine. Divers were scouring the seabed, not for lost treasures or ancient artifacts, but for discarded fishing nets as part of an environmental cleanup project. Among the seaweed and marine life, they stumbled upon this rusty, algae-covered machine. Little did they know, they had just found an artifact that played a pivotal role in the war and the world of cryptography. So why was this machine at the bottom of the Baltic Sea? Well, as the war ended and it became clear that the Nazis were on the losing side, they tried to eliminate evidence. Many of these Enigma machines were thrown into rivers, lakes, and seas in a last-ditch attempt to keep their secrets hidden. This particular machine is now undergoing restoration, it's a delicate process, considering it's been underwater for over seven decades. But once it's done, it'll serve as a tangible piece of history, reminding us of the intense battles in the past. Number 7. A Shark Ancestor There were many creatures that lived centuries and millennia ago that were incredibly fearsome. Among them was an ancient slow-moving shark with pretty pointy teeth. Recently, archaeologists dug up tooth fossils of this creature that lived millions of years ago. They're considered an ancient relative of what are today's Great Whites. The Western Interior Seaway, where this tooth was found, was a massive inland sea that split North America into two land masses around 100 million years ago. It was home to a plethora of marine life, from giant reptiles to ancient fish. Perhaps in time, this region might reveal more intriguing species that weren't known to man before. Number 6. Mysterious Burial Rituals from the Iron Age now, the Iron Age, spanning from around 800 BC to the Roman invasion of 43 AD in Britain, was a time filled with rituals, traditions, and beliefs 
that can seem quite bizarre to most of us today. This period was marked by tribal societies, and while many of their customs remain shrouded in mystery, it's clear that they had specific practices regarding death and the afterlife. Even so, researchers were baffled upon discovering the remains of a woman in an Iron Age pit in Oxfordshire. Instead of a proper position, the woman's limbs were arranged differently. Her feet were placed beside her. Now you might be wondering, why on earth would people from that era engage in such practices? Was this a ritualistic act? Did it have symbolic significance, perhaps related to her journey in the afterlife or her status in society? Or was it a more practical act, maybe to ensure that she wouldn't walk again? There's also the chance it was only an effort to fit her into the burial space. Alongside the woman's remains, they found pottery, animal bones, and other artifacts that paint a picture of the community she might have been a part of. But despite everything, the explanation behind this bizarre ritual remains unknown. Number 5. Parasite got your tongue? You know the phrase, cat got your tongue? Now that might seem like a playful statement, but believe me, you won't hear it the same after this. What you're looking at is the Simothoa exigua. It's commonly known as the tongue-eating louse. You see, this creature has an incredibly unique life cycle. It's originally native to the warm waters of the Pacific. This isopod targets certain species of fish, making its way inside through the gills. Once inside, the female louse attaches herself to the fish's tongue, drawing blood from it. Over time, as she feeds it, the fish's tongue starts to atrophy and eventually withers away. The final stage is when the louse attaches itself to the remaining stub, becoming the fish's new tongue. Yep, you heard that right. The parasite becomes a functional replacement for the fish's original tongue. Now, before you get too horrified, the parasite doesn't really bother the fish. At least, not that much. The host of this parasite can still eat and function normally, just with the parasite in place of its tongue. Unfortunately, if a newbie angler happens to catch the host, then they'll be in for a pretty surprising catch. Number 4. Deadly Forgotten Island Have you ever heard of Vazrozhdinya? If you haven't, this region is considered the deadliest island on Earth. Or at least, it was. Vazrozhdinya, which translates to Rebirth Island, was once an island in the Aral Sea, situated between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Now, if you're imagining a tropical paradise, think again. The island was ground zero for some of the Soviet Union's most secretive and dangerous projects. From the 1950s to the 1990s, Vazrozhdinya was home to a top-secret Soviet bioweapons lab. Scientists here were tasked with researching and weaponizing some of the deadliest pathogens known to humanity. Anthrax, smallpox, and the bubonic plague, the island was chosen for its isolation, making it an ideal spot for such hazardous work. In the late 1990s, the Soviet Union collapsed and the lab was abandoned. But the pathogens? They were left behind, some even buried in shallow graves. The island became a no-go zone, with rumors of it being a ticking time bomb of diseases. In the early 2000s, however, the Aral Sea began to shrink, and this no-go island ceased to exist. And so, Vazrozhdinya became a peninsula connected to the mainland. This sparked concerns about the potential spread of the buried pathogens. Although efforts to destroy pathogens were deployed over the past years, this region still remains one of the most dangerous former islands on the entire planet. Number 3. World's Toughest Bacterium You're looking at Deinococcus radiodurans, the toughest bacterium on the planet. You see, most bacteria that enter our body get killed by antibodies and antibiotics. But this particular one has the incredible ability to survive not only extreme temperatures, but also powerful radiation, the vacuum of space, and even acid. Now why is this bacterium so problematic? Well, its resilience poses challenges in environments where we want to eliminate bacteria. Think of places like nuclear waste sites. While most bacteria would perish in the presence of radioactive waste, this species thrives, making the cleanup process a lot more complicated. This bacterium has a unique ability to repair its DNA. When exposed to radiation, its DNA shatters into pieces. But give it a little time, and Deinococcus will stitch its DNA back together. Fortunately, this bacterium isn't harmful to humans. On the contrary, it aids researchers in their scientific research. Number 2. Giant Fisher on Earth A few years back, 
Residents and experts alike were taken aback when a massive fissure stretching for miles appeared seemingly out of nowhere in the Arizona desert. This wasn't just a tiny crack, but a gaping chasm wide enough to swallow large vehicles in some places. And today, scientists are now expecting it to get even bigger. Fissures like these are often caused by the withdrawal of groundwater. As water is pumped out for agricultural or other uses, the ground above can sink and crack, leading to these enormous fissures. And with increasing water demands, the ground could continue to shift, potentially making the fissure grow both in length and depth. While fissures and other formations aren't new phenomena in Arizona, this particular fissure surprised many because of how quickly it formed. Researchers and geologists have been keeping a close eye on the fissure, diligently keeping track of any changes. After all, who knows what this terrifying fissure could turn into someday? Number 1. The Man Who Remembers His Past Life Do you believe in reincarnation? If you don't, then perhaps you'll find this story creepy or bizarre. After all, how can someone remember a past life if reincarnation and rebirth aren't real? This is the story of Steve Mulligan, a man from Manchester, United Kingdom. He was born in 1961, but Mulligan seems to have memories of a life far earlier than this. Steve always had these peculiar black and white memories where he felt like he was soaring high above the ground. It was like watching an old movie reel, but he was the star. These memories were so vivid that he felt a deep connection to Londidno, Wales, even though he grew up in Manchester. Every time he visited Londidno, it felt eerily familiar, like he'd walked those streets before. His mom was always baffled by how he seemed to know his way around the town. One day, Steve decided to try hypnotherapy, and it was then that he properly visualized his past life as a World War I pilot. He claimed he joined the Royal Flying Corps, Hence, his extreme knowledge of Landidno, Wales. He perished, still insisting that he remembered his past life. Is this really possible? I'll let you be the judge. Did we miss any discovery? If you know other insane findings that we didn't include, feel free to share them in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.